I thought I would provide an update on the work we've been doing. It's been very busy recently. So I did a talk last week for the good people of Simple Web. And I spoke about Internet of Things, data, lots of interesting questions and debate. Very smart folk, really nice to go and talk to people who are knowledgeable at the, about the area. Uh, the analysis has been going well. We've got a number of papers underway. I thought I'd give you a, a very quick overview of what we've been doing and why. Uh, on the Hub of All Things project, we looked at how personal data and Internet of Things might provide a data stream into your personal data store, your hat. Uh, and from that, you could run analysis and potentially share more data. This raises a lot of questions around privacy, security and the potential vulnerability of the individual. So we started some research into how people dealt with personal data, how vulnerable, vulnerable they were. So the first piece we did, we looked at NHS patients. Now, in the UK, pretty much everybody is an NHS. Uh, on the Hub of All Things project, we looked at how personal data and Internet of Things might provide a data stream into your personal data store, your hat, of what we've been doing and why. Uh, on the Hub of All Things project, we looked at how personal data and Internet of Things might provide a data stream into your personal data store, your hat. Uh, and from that, you could run analysis and potentially share more data. This raises a lot of questions around privacy, security and the potential vulnerability of the individual. So we started some research into how people dealt with personal data, how vulnerable they were. So the first piece we did, we looked at NHS patients. Now, in the UK, pretty much everybody is an NHS patient, which makes it easier to ask people's opinion uh, about how they share their data. So what we did was we did a survey. Uh, we asked people about data sharing. In the UK, pretty much everybody, I think it's over 80%, share their data as part of, I think it's called Care Data, which is the NHS central data repository. Now, this data it can be exploited for health, but also for commercial purposes. We wanted to know why people joined that database. What we find is a perceived social contract, a societal benefit uh, that people perceive in sharing that data. The willingness to disclose, uh, the intention to disclose, exceeds the perceived risks of sharing that data. Now, why are people sharing? This could be because they're uninformed. Uh, they didn't realise that this data would be shared. Uh, it could be that they underestimate or neglect the actual risk and maybe the overweight, the perceived benefit. Following on from the medical data, we did an experiment. Uh, what we were looking to do is understand vulnerability and perception. What we found were uh, people were risk-taking with regards to data uh, for identity, emails, that sort of thing. Um, which can be used to masquerade as somebody else. But they were feeling very risk averse and vulnerable when it came to data about security value, national security, uh, security of the firm, that sort of thing. We find that people overweigh small chances of data loss and yet underestimate large chances of data loss. And um, particularly when it comes to finances uh, or account access, these are the things that people worry about. Um, if we tell people about a specific data hack, uh, then they become very risk averse about the area, but not necessarily in others. We've been trying to develop a scale to measure uh, the risk taking and perce risk perception of individuals with regards to their personal data. Uh, what we find in that analysis in creating that scale is actually uh, people are consistent uh, in different domains with regards to their information privacy, but what they actually judge it from isn't economic loss, it's ethics. Uh, so in their thinking, people frame information or data privacy as an ethical question. So if you lose their data, uh, then you lose their confidence uh, as opposed to an economic loss. And that actually has implications for the firm. So that's what we've been up to. Um, hopefully that's quite interesting. The papers are written, pretty much written, uh, underway, at review. So that's what we've been doing. Uh, this week, uh, I've been spending a lot of time doing that, working uh, with some work on business models, and getting a paper on financial resilience uh, finished, and 
later in the week, I'm off to Edinburgh, which is quite exciting. So yeah, that's what we're up to.